The member for member Cook Tantamar. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm rising at third reading of Bill 114, Child and Youth Wellbeing Act, uh, because I, I need to say uh, a few things. Um, it's clear that there needed to be a new, um, new legislation to address child and youth in care. They deserve better. They need new legislation. And I'm glad that we had witnesses come to the Committee on Economic Policy, and it resulted in substantive amendments. And Mr. Speaker, there's a bit of self-congratulatory talk happening around this, and I'm very glad it happened, but that's as it should be, Mr. Speaker. We should listen to experts. We sh government should make amendments when something isn't right. And so I'm glad that that happened. And I think of all the bills where that hasn't happened. So this, this is um, a great precedent, and it's very important. This should be done routinely, Mr. Speaker. But what's in my head, Mr. Speaker, from listening to that committee? I'm, I'm thinking of Samantha Paul of Mi'kmaq Child and Family Services of New Brunswick, Incorporated. And I'm thinking of Michelle Sacobie, the Director of Child and Family Services at King's Clear First Nations. And they used the language of feeling like it was a slap in the face to see their recommendations were not included. And so, Mr. Speaker, while this legislation is needed and needs, needs to move forward, it is not good enough, Mr. Speaker. This bill fails First Nations communities, First Nations children and youth. That was very clear. Their recommendations, what they need, that was not included in this legislation. And so I am glad that substantive uh, amendments happened around children's rights and other things, but it is not where it needs to be, Mr. Speaker. And so um, I know that the leader of the Green Party and member for Fredericton South has called on the Minister of Social Development, and I, I call on him as well to bring, to come back in the fall, to bring amendments, to actually engage with First Nations to make sure that the legislation, that the laws that are on the books actually meet the needs in their communities. Because as it stands, this legislation that, that's going through today, it does not do that, Mr. Speaker. I would also uh, call on the Minister of Social Development to ensure that adequate resources are there, ample resources. Because one of the challenges that, that people face in the system as children, as youth, and as the people working in the system is being under-resourced and trying to make things work with, with not, <laughs> when they don't have enough to make it work. So, Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, this bill is needed, but it's not good enough, and so the government needs to do better, and they need to, to fix this. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.